Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So it seems that Microsoft is gearing up for another change it's going to be making with Windows 11 25H2, this year's annual feature update, which Microsoft is already working on. And this is basically an under the hood upgrade regarding a driver related feature, which Microsoft hasn't given us too much information on as yet. And this is all according to this post by Microsoft, which I'll leave linked in the description, where Microsoft has updated the static analysis requirement for Windows driver certification, which they are saying is for the upcoming Windows release. So if we click on that, that takes us over to a Microsoft officially confirmed Windows 11 25 H2. And I'll leave the video for that link down below in the end screen if you'd like some more information. Now this is quite an in-depth post mainly aimed at developers as you can see. So I'm going to try and simplify this as much as I can for the purpose of this video. Now Microsoft mentions that static analysis is a foundational requirement of Windows hardware compatibility program also known as WHCP. It mentions the validation is performed using the static tools logo test. Now basically what that is at the end of the day, if you are unaware, static tools logo test performs static analysis that is designed to improve reliability and security of drivers. So that's just basically what that is in a nutshell, which they carry on to say leverages code QL to identify potential issues in driver code before deployment. Now, if you're wondering what code QL is all about, it's basically a code analysis engine and tool chain developed over on GitHub used for automating security checks and identifying potential vulnerabilities in code bases. It also allows users to query code like data, enabling them to find and address security flaws. So that's basically what that is in a nutshell in case you're unaware. And while we are talking about tests, the Windows Hardware Certification Program basically has two verification tests for hardware drivers. The static tests, which test the driver code, code path, and so on. And then we've got dynamic testing, which more or less does the same thing, but it tests the driver when it's running on the system where static tests test the driver without actually executing the driver in the actual operating system or the system. So basically at the end of the day, according to Microsoft, the Windows 11 25H2 third party drivers must pass the static tools logo test that runs them through CodeQL before driver deployment in order to comply with Microsoft's Windows hardware certification program. And this is all part of Microsoft's new Secure Future Initiative. And I think this is good news because it could mean that Windows 11 25 H2 will filter out drivers that aren't that great, so to speak. And at the end of the day, will make drivers better that can be applied in the actual Windows 11 25 H2 system. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.